Hey up troops, it's A Littleton here again with another video. Now we've just had released 34 minutes ago when I recorded this video, the new R6 share scheme skins for the start of this year. There's seven in total. They're uniforms, so headgear uniform, weapon skin, and card background. I'm gonna go, go through all seven of them in just a second. Now you might notice I am sat literally on top of one of those guns that we'll come on to in a minute. And it might be up there with one of my favorites, but don't worry about where my legs are either. So one thing I want to let you know is some of the teams which have moved on from Siege, so uh, teams like TSM, teams like Na'Vi, I'm led to believe that their skins aren't going to be in the store for that much longer. So if it is you're a fan of those teams and they're not going to get, obviously not going to get any more skins, make sure you buy those skins if you want to keep them because they're going to disappear forever at some point. I'm not sure when though. The seven skins to get through, and I am just going to warn you, when I was recording this video, just a spoiler alert by the way, the G2 skin is a zombie, right? And as I was running through the video, I think I started calling his army a Rooney. And I had like a sort of realization halfway through the video. So if you hear me call his army a Rooney, just ignore it, all right? We'll just brush over that. That didn't happen. Enough waffling for a change. Let's get stuck into it. So just before we get into where to find the Pro League bundles, don't forget that there's a new Prime Gaming bundle out as well for Capcan. It's by Leversage and it's absolutely class. Um, I can't go straight there now, but you can see the design from here. It looks absolutely quality. So don't forget, if you've got Amazon Prime, make sure you get that as well. So to find the share scheme skins, we want to go to shop. Then you want to go on this right-hand side here to eSports full kits. Or if you can't find this tab, if you go down to bundles. Uh, sorry, down to eSports, it's in there as well. You go on here, protein bundles, and you can see all the protein skins which are out at the moment. Sort it by release, and we've got the first or top seven that have uh, that have just come out. So uh, there will be more that get released, like there normally is. You know, normally we have like the full kits or the full uniforms, full full bundles, and then we have just each like, uh, for example, the um, the M and M weapon um, that came out afterwards, and then the Wolves weapon that came out after. So there will be more skins that come out. But these are like the full bundles for now. So there's seven to choose from. We've got Cyclops, Fnatic, G2, NIP, SSG, Team Liquid, and Team Secrets. This is genuinely the first time I'm looking at it. And I always say that, but I want to like let you know that I haven't logged into the game and flicked through these before I actually look at them. So let's start with Castle. And I'm going to do it on a basis of will I buy it. Um, headgear is all right. Uniform is pretty colorful. The weapon skin, it's, I mean, it's bold, isn't it? I mean, the problem that I have is a few of these guns I've got black ice for, and I don't think I would use that over black ice because, I mean, black ice on the UMP looks really nice. I like the weapon skin. It's bright, it's colourful. A lot of the good designs at the front of the gun, which is what I talk about all the time when it comes to weapon skins. I hate it when the weapon skin like design is down here towards the stock, which you don't see in-game. I think the thing for me to make me want to buy a bundle is it's all about the weapon skin because... You don't see the uniform in game. The only time that you ever see your uniform is the gloves when you're like reinforcing or holding your gun, or at the end of the game when you're looking at the winning screen and you've got to win a game for that to happen, which is tough for me at the minute. I'm telling you, it's tough in the trenches. So the uniform doesn't do much for me because it's only others really that benefit from the uniform. Or well, selfishly, I want to make sure that the, the weapon skin looks good. And if I didn't have black eyes, I'd probably go for that. I think it's, it's bold, it's colorful. There's a lot of attachment skins that'll work with it. I don't hate it. Quite like it. Fnatic with Malusi them. Whoa, look at them orange eyes. The uniform. Uh, yeah. The only thing there for the uniform just looks pretty standard to me. Um The uniform just looks not a million miles away from standard Malusi, but orange, but weapon skin, which is what it's all about. And I, I actually really like that. It's not over the top. That's just clean, isn't it? I like the little detailing. It looks like a, I don't know if it's like a volcano type theme. That just looks really clean. And with the new orange attachment skin that you can get in that bundle, um, the newcomer bundle this season, or just a black attachment skin will look really nice with that. Now, I think I have actually got black eyes for the MP5 as well, so I am tempted to get that instead, though. I re that's my favorite so far. Going on to G2 then with a Rooney. G2 skins are normally really well designed. How they like incorporate the the logo into the into the the skin. You can see there, like that's the G2 logo. Like you remember the um, like Vigil's mask was sort of similar to that as well. And then the uniform itself. It really frustrates me how like inconsistent the spinning is. Like I'm spinning like mad there, and it won't let me go. 
Cool back of the uniform with the logo. Nicely. Yeah, it's nice. I don't hate it. It's nice. It's not a million miles away, though, from the standard Rooney skin that you can... In fact, we're just going to have a quick look at that. Like, there's an Rooney skin which is already kind of red, isn't there? Yeah, that one there. But it's cooler than that. Uh, where are we? Back to Rooney. So, um, onto the weapon skin. What are we going with? G2 logo right here. I'm just not really sure what it is other than the logo, some wires and stuff. It's cool though. It's a tough one though because that, <laughs> you, know, you see, the, see all the, like, the whites and the reds and the yellows back here, but it's just sort of grey where you're going to be looking at it most. But yeah, I think that's okay. I th and um, I know there's a pattern emerging here. I've actually got black eyes for, uh, for the 9x19 as well, so I don't think I'd get that one personally. I think so far, maybe on Castle, yes on Malusi, no on Rooney for me. On to NIP, and we've got Mute. Now, Mute's actually a really good operator to get a skin for because the amount of skins that Mute has, other than this Battle Pass skin, which was last season, um, he really doesn't have that many good skins. Um, nice detail. It's, it's the same sort of out there, like the same base model as the standard skin, I think. Although there's some different, um, like the detailing around the arms and stuff, that pattern's definitely different. Oh, the eyes on the back are pretty cool. One thing that you always want to look for as well when it comes to getting a uniform is the gloves. Like, I don't know if you remember the smoke traffic light scheme, um, where he's got the, the I'll show you, because we're in the game, why don't I just show you. The the smoke, um, Mutant Thatcher also had one as well. Sorry, let me just go to appearance, uniform, so this one here, this is really cool because in-game when you're reinforcing and stuff and when you're using your gun, you can see the yellow stripes on the gloves. It's really nice. Um, I've actually gone full ranked warrior at the minute and using Ember Eyes on smoke. Well, don't worry, don't judge me on that too much. So back to NIP. Uh, let's have a quick look at the weapon skin. It's the SMG-11, not the shotgun. I'm not looking at the operator card background, by the way. I'm not overly fussed about them. Um... It's like, is it, what do they call that design that was in CSGO that was then brought over to Siege? Is it like Hyper Beast or something like that? It looks a little bit like that, doesn't it? Um, fair play, looks cool. <laughs> and this is this is not a joke. I've actually got black eyes for the SMG-11 as well, so I'm not mad keen on, on getting that. Although I would like Mute to have a nice skin. I just wish the gloves, like put some lime green on the gloves and then we'd probably talk maybe for me on that one. This one, I think, just looking at that there, is probably the coolest so far. Um, let's have a look at the headgear. Let's go through it. So, good colours. I like how it stands out. I like this, these are the yellows and pinks that mix together well there. The uniform itself. Again, bright, looks different. Not sure if it's the same standard. Um... It can't be, is it? I don't think Legion's standard skin has all this on the back. It lacks on there as well. It definitely doesn't. Space Station on the back. Weapon skin. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. By far my favourite so far, and I'll definitely be getting the card background if you're into that. It's pretty cool as well. So a quick look at the card background for the others that I didn't look at. G2s. I mean, that's if you're a G2 fan, that's cool. Uh, Kag or Cyclops, should I say? Eh, it's okay. And the Fanatic one, pretty cool. I like how that stands out. Yeah, Legion by far my favorite so far. Then we got Twitch. And the only thing is, I don't know when these were approved, but I feel for Liquid a little bit because no one's using the F2 anymore, are they? No one's on the F2 because of how bad the recoil is with no vert grip. Um, looks okay. Headgear is okay. Uniform. Again, I don't. I think Twitch suffers from not having a massive amount of good skins to choose from. Uh, when this lets me spin, we'll spin it around. Uh, Twitch drone on the back it looks okay. It's just a bit. It's just okay, isn't it? That. I'm sorry for that. If any of the designers end up watching this and they're like, I spent 25 hours designing that. Weapon skin. It, I mean, it's clean. It, the, the, like the colors are bold and vibrant and. I like the pattern on the, like, is this called the top rail or whatever you'd call that there? I like that. Um, so it's Team Liquid on whatever that little, is that like a, 
Wait, is that on the normal F2? That looks like it's a bipod for the F2. Wait, hang on a minute. Is there a bipod on the standard F2? There is. I've never noticed that before. I mean, am I just a massive idiot or... I've never noticed that bipod tucked in on the F2 before. Anyway. Back to the shop. Excuse me. Back down to Twitch. Operator card for liquid. I don't, I, I'm sorry, I, and I, I don't want to like, talk bad on people's designs, and this is literally their work, but it's just a bit, just a bit normal. It's not bad. It's just a bit, meh. Nah. And I don't, I don't understand why teams, maybe I've just got the wrong end of the stick here, but I don't understand why teams don't go all out for the share scheme. Like, NIPs is just a bit bland. Like, so's Liquid's like, look how good SSG, and look at the book there, which we'll come on to in a second for secret. Look how good SSGs and secrets look. I'm instantly drawn to them. Like they look quality. But bear in mind the share scheme, like the money that the that um is made from the, the share scheme gets filtered down to the team. So why would you not want it's like it's like your shop window, it's your chance to make money. I don't know why they don't go all out. Maybe they do. I'm not sure. But that I mean compare SSG, compare secret to that Twitch and that mute. It's not even in the same league. Anyway, let's check out the team secret book, and this already looks cool. Love the colours. Like the design. If anything, this, and I'm going to go the other way here, if anything, might be a little bit too bright, but it still looks smart. Yeah, I like that. I've got the Kiwana skin for Book, though, so and you can't get the Kiwana skin anymore, so I don't know if I'd want to swap. Let's have a look at the weapon skin. I mean, that's dead smart, isn't it? That is really, really, really nice. If I could spin it, that'd be good. That's, I mean, that's really nice. Card. Mm, it's okay. It's not massively obvious that's for Team Secret. I really liked the... Um, which card was it? The SSG card? Yeah, the SSG card I like because it's very obviously SSG, but also the G2 card I thought was really good. If you're a G2 fan, that is quality. In short, or in summary, should I say, I think my favourite one is Legion with SSG. Then Book from Secret. Then Malusi from Fnatic. Then... A... Oh, wait, have I just... Hang on a minute. Yeah, sorry. I just thought I'd been calling a Rooney... A Z sorry, I've been calling a Zami. I've been calling a Rooney a Zami this whole video, haven't I? No, the other way around. Wait, what? I've been calling a Zami a Rooney this whole... I have, haven't I? This is Army. Have I said as all? I feel like I've been calling her a Rooney. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> For I'm, I, I've got it in my head now. I've been saying a Rooney this whole... I think it's because the other G2 skin was a Rooney. Maybe that's where I've been going wrong. But anyway, I bet you've been watching this video and every time I've said a Rooney, you've gone, that's a Zami, Andy. What the f***ing hell are you talking about? But anyway, probably then a Zami. Then Castle. Then an IP. For, with Mute. And then down to Liquid. Especially like the SSG, um, Fnatic, and Secret one. I've got it in my head about a Rooney and his army now. I can't stop thinking about it. Anyway, there will be more skins that come out, like before, where they, they release like the full bundles of um, of skins from certain teams, and then there's more that follow up after. Don't forget, by the way, that this got leaked to the store. I don't know if it was meant to be there. It, well, I say it got leaked. I think it got put in by accident, but the Virtus Pro Rooney, that's available at the minute. I don't know if you can still buy it or whether they're going to sort of disable it and then like re-release it again i'm not sure what they're going to do with it but that i don't know if you've seen that or you don't yet but that's absolutely dead i mean that's quality isn't it i was going to say it's absolutely dead nice which doesn't make any sense but that is class i'm on board with that i think that looks really nice um so yeah there will be more that get sort of drip fed out there'll be another wave where it's not just um not uniforms as well but just weapon skins etc but any thoughts so far again i'll go with the order again ssg ssg secret Fnatic, G2, Cyclops, NIP, Liquid is the order. Let me know what you think. So there we have it. My thoughts on the first seven skins that have been released with the R6 share scheme this year. Some really good ones, but there's also just, there's a, they're just a bit bland, some of them. Like, this is your chance to like, to, to, to make a really good skin that everyone's going to buy. Your org makes more money. Get right into it. I don't know, mate. Maybe people, some orgs just prefer sort of more 
sort of less is more type look. I don't know, but there's some really good ones. We'll do this again when the next wave of them come out as well, and we'll, we'll sort of review or we'll react or whatever you want to call it that we've just done to the first seven, but we'll do it again when, when the others come out as well. But other than that, that probably wraps us up for this one, so I'll see you next time. Cheers!